Hi, this is Nether Void and Andrew Punk. What's up? We're from uh, Danger Guru Net, and we're doing our first Let's Play Adophis. And uh, Adophis is an MMORPG mixed with Final Fantasy Tactics for its combat, which is really cool. Uh, it's a free-to-play game for about the first 20 levels until you want to start going into the higher level areas, and then you have to do uh, buy subscription. This is, uh, buy subscription only. The subscription is really cheap, though. It's only $6.90 a month. And every time you subscribe, you get a little gift, like a little pet or uh, some sword or something like that. So let's get right into it, because we've got a lot of ground to cover. This game's very deep, has a lot of different aspects to it, even just for combat. So all we're going to do today is create a character and go through the tutorial. For those of you that see him at level 39, um, he's nothing. Yeah, well, it goes up to level 200, so 39 is still pretty new. Uh, this is Andrew Punk's account. He wants to create a sack rear that we'll be using for our, our Let's Plays. So... Uh, there are 14 classes in Dofus, and you can see all the different classes here. He's doing some character customization right now, and all you can really do is customize your colors. And that's, a, you know, you, you can't customize your face or hair, but you really don't see it that much. Usually your gear is what kind of distinguishes you. The gear and there are so, bad in this game. There are so many different kinds of, of gear and so many different items that everybody's, everybody's pretty uh, unique. So there's different ways to look at which class you want to play. You can look at the uh, description here, and it'll tell you a little bit about the class, not enough to really know what you're doing, but enough to kind of pick it for your first class. You might not like your first class, but at least you'll start learning the game. Each class has its own unique set of spells, as you can see, and you get like three right off the bat, and each three or it, four every, levels. Yeah, every three or four levels you can get a new spell. Sometimes it's five, but that's like from like level 200 plus, or something. Yeah, no, level 100 when plus. Yeah, when you get higher up, sometimes they'll, they'll uh, start becoming few and far between, that's okay. Uh, so this is, you can look at the different kinds of spells and kind of decide what class you want based on that. So uh, yeah, let's just get right into this it. This is though. a tank class, so if you like up close combat, this, this is one of the characters for you. Right, there are also healing, like one healing class. The classes in this game are kind of like other MMORPGs, but they're slightly different in the fact that each one of them mainly has a unique play style instead of being like one of the, the uh, a tank healer or a damage healer. There's 12 um, DPSs, one healer, one tank. Right, and they all play differently. So just kind of try, try them all. They're a little different. Okay, so there's a guided tutorial and a contextual help. The guided tutorial is uh, the one, you know, it's a tutorial. The other one, you don't you don't get anything. You start off with nothing. And yeah. I, I recommend the guided tutorial for beginners. Yeah, definitely, because you start out at least with a newbie set of gear. This that is for people sucks. who already have gear to give their characters, as you know, twinks. That's kind of obvious. So we're going to start the tutorial here. At least set us up with some gear and a little bit of XP. Look at that guy. He's weird. He's got those horns. <laughs> the splash screens are kind of fun. The art in this game is really good. Even, even really though good it's really colorful, game. which in some cases I don't like. Okay, here we go. We're going to start out. This is a click-to-move game like Diablo 2, if you've played that. No WASD, which doesn't really hurt it because it's a 2D game, as you can see. Um, okay. start up, there's a few things you can see here with the UI, which is not very complicated. Hit points, action points, which we will explain later. Move points, and a whole host of the normal menus you might find in an MMO. So let's get right into... This is the start of the... Uh, tutorial quest here. You know, of course, it says, it's so simple. It tells you where to move it. Right, everything. so we'll click here. One left click. And no. we'll start this quest with this guy. That guy you'll see a lot throughout the entire game. I don't really like talking to him, so we won't. Yeah, you can talk to him. You can read all through this text when you uh, start your first character. Now, this is the inventory panel, and these are your equipment slots, just like every other game uh, RPG out there. Those eggs he we'll gave talk us about this later. Ring. Yeah, um, these are Dofus eggs. You don't need to worry about them until you're really high level. He gave us this ring to equip, first part of the newbie, newbie set here. You can see it has some stats. Every All the items have stats, just like a lot of other It has games. an orange name, which means it's a set. Right, this is a set item. The whole thing's a newbie set. There are sets in this game, like Diablo 2, and they give set bonuses, etc. Yeah, like of course, bonuses. these ones are worse than Diablo 2. Uh, these are the worst sets I've ever, stats I've ever seen. Yeah, these are really bad. But that's to be expected from newbie stuff. All right, so now he wants us to change screens. As you can see on the minimap, we're on this screen right here. We're going to change screens just simply like clicking this side. When you see that arrow, you can just click over here. And each time you complete one of the things it tells you, you get a you get an item. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we, it shows we didn't move though because we're in the tutorial. Normally, it would move the screen over. Yeah, well, here's our first fight. It's a scarecrow, as you can see, it gives you zero XP. In order to engage your fight, you just click on the thing. But sometimes you'll see a group of monsters. You just click them. Now you're in a fight. Yeah. Sometimes monsters are aggressive, so stay steer clear if you're like 30 levels under them. Uh, now you can see where the Final Fantasy Tactics comes into play. I can start on any of these red squares. Now, 
it doesn't really matter in this fight, but in, if I was, uh, uh, I'm a tank class, and if there was mobs behind me, I might want to start here. This class gets bonuses when it gets hit, so I want to start right in the middle of the action. If I'm a ranged class, I might want to start over here. There are no mobs, so I want to, might want to try to keep them away from me. Yeah, my so let's range, just start here. My ranged guy is gets click on a ready to, map sometimes. Click ready to fight. Now, first thing you'll see is these move squares, these green squares, talking about how many move points we have. This is showing us where we can move. So first thing we're going to do is use two of them to move toward the monster. Yeah, um, our spells were inactive. We're going to use them until we move up to the guy. Right, and that's just in the tutorial. Normally, you could cast spells and then move or any kind of anything you want to do. Now we'll talk about action points. These are the... Uh, you get six action points per turn, just like you get three move points per turn. They can, you use your action points to cast spells. They can get increased from items later on. Right. Uh, for right now, now this spell costs three action points. It's a buff. This will make it so every time we get hit, we get some strength from the hit. And strength we'll talk about later when uh, we're talking about characteristics. Right. Strength's going to help us with this spell. It's an earth spell. It'll make it stronger. So but that's all me, we can do right now. For me, I, I, I'm not going to go strength. It's just one of the worst elements, I think. Right, for sack rears. but And, and uh, we can talk about builds later. Each each one of these classes, you can build them in different ways. You can make like an agility sack rear, which I have, or strength or intelligence. There's lots of different ways to build each class. So each each uh, character you meet is probably not going to have the same build as you, which is kind of cool. It's just like Diablo. Okay, so let's kill this guy with sack rears, but it's 4 AP, so you can't use it twice per turn. But let's kick him. And Six damage, not that great. As you can see, hurts him pretty good, though. And th this scarecrow couldn't move, so I think it got enchanted by some weird thing. Yeah. We're just gonna kind of go through this fight. We don't have a lot of time. Yeah. We, and this really, wow, hit for nine. I've never, I've never seen Maybe that. Maybe that was a crit. There are crit hits in this game, as well as crit fails. If you crit fail, you'll you'll lose your AP, or in some cases, you'll lose your turn. So uh, it's just. It's kind of fun that way, though. It's a little bit random. Yeah. Now, um, we, now here's the uh, fight result screen. We've got zero XP because this is part of the tutorial. It shows you how much XP you need to level. It shows you how many commas you got, which is the currency of the game. And it shows you any drops you got. Now, a lot of times you'll see lots of drops, and you'll think, wow, I got a lot of nothing. But the drops are most of the drops are used for item creation in this game. There's a lot of crafting in this game. And pretty much anything in the game can be crafted or it can be dropped. So you'll see a lot of crafting going on in this game. The drop system is sort of related to WoW, and it has its own feeling. Like, sometimes these bird things can drop weapons, but most of the time they drop meat, feathers, and beaks and stuff. Right. And you use those to create, like, weapons or gear or something like that. It doesn't so. happen to WoW whatsoever. So now, see, uh, we need to talk... See, here's this guy again, and he has a green um, exclamation mark instead of yellow from WoW, which I think green is way better. It just means he has a quest. So that's kind of obvious if you've ever played any MMO based yeah, games. He's talking to us, he's talking. Okay, now it says, hey, let's. Is he saying inventory? Yeah, he's saying inventory. Oh, wow, we have all these items from doing this, these quests so far. Let's and them all. We need one more set item, which is the hat. I don't really like the look of the hat, it looks like a pirate hat. <laughs> but, you know, that's okay. I mean, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, this is the amount of XP we need for the next level. We're so, about halfway. Halfway, yeah. Next, we'll talk about in-game timers, which adds a little bit of uh, fun to to the fights here. Yeah, so if a, if a phone's ringing during your fight, you, it's like you either you pick up the phone or you waste your turn. Now, here it is. I have a timer now. If, if I don't continue uh, do all my moves before this runs out, I lose my turn. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick where I want to go. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. For those of you that don't know, my character's a mime. Now, I'm going to buff myself. And then I'm gonna move. Brown stuff covered your entire body. That is really gross. Yeah, that's not a good idea. You okay. know what? I'm gonna show him attraction. Let's show him yeah. attraction. This is a different spell for this tank class. Because this guy can only hit, usually from really close up. So let me pull this guy in. You As you can see. Pull out your veins and pull them towards you, but then your veins go back into your body. I don't have enough to cast foot, because foot is 4 AP and I only have 3. So I'll just have to end my turn. Use the fire. So now let's start kicking this guy's butt here. Yeah. yeah, apparently Sakuris are really good when they're low level. I mean, look at that. I've never seen the character do that Oops. much in like one in like one move at level one. So, doing eight. Well, it's the tutorial. I don't want to put something too hard to turn around the game, so. Yeah. We're gonna kill him on this one. Alright. Okay, so we got some XP this time. A little closer to our level here. Now, this is a key to a dungeon. 
Uh, there, are, there are about 20 dungeons in this game. Each one of them has a different key that you need to get in. The key is used up when you get in. You can also so, uh, craft keys, and, and yeah. that's jewelry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's jewelry. Which is a crafting profession. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Right, so you can either craft them from drops, or you can get them dropped from monsters. Sometimes you can get them from quests. So there's a couple other ways to get them, which you won't, we won't go into. Uh, but here's the one for the newbie dungeon on this uh, area. And uh, we want to get as many of these as we can. Cause... There's one dungeon in this area, and that's the Econom dungeon. Yeah. So, okay, let's click to go out of here. Now let's talk There's to the this guy, guy again. again. I think this is the end. We're going to hit level She's two. He's a bird. I'm, it's pretty weird that he can talk. Ah, oh, level two. We're done with the tutorial. So the screen comes up every time you level. It tells you the next spell you're going to get. Level up three, we get evasion. It's a new spell for us. It, cool. it, it's good when you're in a party, but solo, it's not that great. Right. You pretty much avoid the first... But, um, never mind. Yeah, we can, we can, we'll talk more about the specific spells later. But uh, the health points, you get five per level. Uh, you get more when you're high level, but you can uh, over level 100, so we don't need to talk about it. So uh, you get five per level. Spell points, you get one per level, and we'll talk about that in a second. You get five characteristic points per level, and you, you can pump up your strength, intelligence, etc. So let's, let's show you that now. First, let's do the characteristics. So here you can see your AP, move points, you can you can buff any of this up through gear. Prospecting is kind of like magic finding, it increases your drop rate, so 100 is the normal. You want to get this pretty high, Part it, it all adds up in your party, so you can get it really high if you group up with people and get a better drop. If you've ever played D&D, there's initiative right there. Right, initiative, which means you'll start, you, you might start earlier in the fight than the monsters or other players. Uh, let's go down here now, we've got wisdom, this affects mainly XP, some moves from some classes. Strength affects earth spells. And also, you can carry a lot more stuff with strength. Right. We can, we'll go over that more. Each one of these has lots of different effects, but mainly this affects your earth, your earth moves. Intelligence affects your fire moves. This affects water spells, and this is air spells. So we've got five characteristic points. Infer Normally, we might want to pump these into one of these that will help our, our spells, but a Sacrier has a really bad uh, conversion rate here, and we'll explain that in another Let's Play, but... Since he had, the Sakura has such a bad conversion rate, we're going to pump it all in Vitality and be a really good tank. And that's what you should always do. Never do anything other than Vitality. Only for Sakriers. Everybody else, you don't want to pump Vitality at all. Sakriers get two hit points for every point pumped in. They get two Vitality for every one point. And as you can see, the... Um, the um, see, that just bumps It's, it's always up two. Like, the other things, the, the conversion thing, it changes, so the Vitality doesn't. Right, and that's only for Sakriers. Now, here's your professions. That's the crafting. Each character can have three different professions, and we'll talk about those later, and a specialization for each of these professions. Uh, crafting is a really big deal in this game. You can uh, craft you make anything a lot of money, you and you can create create a lot of items. So we'll, we'll uh, and there's a lot more to talk about. But we don't have time for that. Let's talk about energy because it is very important. When you lose a fight, you lose some energy based on your level. If you lose all your energy, turn into a ghost, and you have to do a quest to come back to life. It takes forever. <clears throat> yes, it does take a long time. So what we pref we, we uh, think you should do, what we do, is log out in ends, and it regenerates your energy while you're offline. So that's also good. There's a quest, but we're not going to do it. It just talk to those two guys up there. Right. We're, there's some more quests to do in here. It gives you, you like 10 it. XP. You can do it if you right. want to. You can do it when it's your first time through. Let's talk about spell points. We're kind of running out of time. So here are the spells that I know right now. And as I level up, see, when I'm level 3, I'll get this one unlocked at level 1 here, rank 1. Each spell can go up to rank 5 until you get over level 100, which you don't need to worry about right now, and then you can get up to rank 6. So to pump this, I would have to, I can have one, I have one spell partner right now, because I just leveled. I can put it into this, and let, raise it up to level 2. And I can keep doing that with my points. But you have to be very careful, you cannot get all of these to rank 5, so you need to plan ahead on what kind of spells you want to pick up. It's called a build, just like in Diablo 2, and you kind of plan it out ahead of time. And we'll talk about that later in other, other uh, Let's Plays, we're kind of running out of time. As you can see, these are different ranks. We'll just tell you kind of what the damage will be. Now, this damage will go up a lot if I have more strength. So if I was going to be an Earth Sack, I'd pump strength and get this nice damage. Don't go Earth. It sucks. Yeah, Earth Earth is okay. There's different builds, and right now I think agility is the best, but it kind of changes with the patches. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're all out of time here, and we'll uh, continue this on our next Let's Play. Well, let's just get out of this uh, tutorial area. And now we're in the regular area, the uh, regular newbie area. So anyway, thanks, and please subscribe, and I hope you come around for Let's Play 2 with Dofus. This is Nethervoid and Andrew Punk, saying later. Bye.